You know, today we got a front end upgrade. This is Bilstein 5100 stabilizer shot or steering dampener, damper. Just like a shock up there in the middle of the screen, except modified to be uh, on the tie rod. So here you have this end came with a new nut and washer. This end did not come with anything. You'll need a three-quarter ratchet with an 18 millimeter or a three-quarter or half-inch ratchet with a 15 millimeter for this. You got to use two to get this left end out and then this right end. I think that's 18 mil. We'll find out in a second. Maybe you'll need some PB blaster, but this could be it. So let's get to it. Here we are on the right side and this is an 18 millimeter with my three quarter inch drive and it's coming off but I think it's one of those nuts that have that nylon inside so it's a little bit tougher and that's probably why they send you a new one. And when this comes off I can foresee myself using a four pound hammer or something to pound uh, the end of the shock through the uh, tie rod. So I'll get back to you in a second when I get to that step. Okay, y'all, before I do that step, here we got the half inch drive with the 15 millimeter. A little curveball. That's a tight space in there to fit really anything. So I've got the wobbly, the 18 millimeter, and a short extension. I'm just gonna push it up and into place. You know, I'll need uh, two hands to do this, but We'll get that and then we'll ratchet both of these ratchets and get this side loose before we pound through with the hammer that side. A lot of elbow grease. Get out the bolt is in good condition. This nut it survived, it appears. But you could always use that other one as a replacement. So dislodged. The other side there. Now, with your hammer. All right, gonna need two hands, but yes, we're gonna knock that thing through. Some WD-40 and a hammer, a few good slams, took care of that. And uh, now you just gotta put it back together the way you found it. Going to bolting things down, uh, 75 foot pounds is what I'm going to do. That's a fourth gen uh, torque spec, but I think it'll apply to this third gen as well. This one hasn't been tightened at all, it's just a little bit. This one we're going to torque first, and uh, we're going to use the torque wrench for it on the 15 millimeter side. So this thing is uh, pressed down, nothing, not even uh, coming back out. So this one wasn't doing its job. All right, y'all, test drive. Here we go. So, so far, you know, we're just dealing with the small bumps and everything. No difference, you know, really, it's not any better, not any worse. So we're gonna hit a bridge here, and see how that is. So a little bit bigger of bumps. That's where I expect to see some difference. Um, at the very least, my front end would be happier with a good shock down there supporting it. So that that uh, stabilizer had seventy thousand miles on it, and that was it. And it was already done. So. I guess that's why you just get a good one. This one will last a long time. That's all I know. Longer than 70,000. Truck feels good driving right now. Here comes the bridge. Um, I don't know. Not much different. Maybe a little bit better. Try a little bit better. It's not a night and day. I know that. Yeah, 
Yeah, 70,000 miles. That's all I got out of that old one. Also, that new nut that came with the uh, shock. That is a 19 millimeter instead of an 18. And it's got that nylon thing in there, so I'm not sure if that's going to be reusable if I ever have to disconnect the shock, which I may at some point if I ever have to do tie rod. I don't know. Might be able to leave it hooked up there on that on that end. But anyways, moral of the story is they'll send you a 19 millimeter bolt. I tried to thread my old 18 on there and the uh, threads, you know, they started to thread a little bit, but then you get down a few rotations and they didn't want to thread anymore. So I, uh, I didn't want to mess with it and I decided I just wanted to go with the one they sent me. So it's a 19 millimeter on there now. So just be aware of that make sure you have a 19 millimeter socket in that case so that'll do it for me 